Hey everyone, Flying Dutchie here, and welcome back to Victoria 3, patch 1.5, as Russia. Uh, we are looking at all the new mechanics in the game, and it's pretty interesting. You, you really need to focus on your state stuff here, uh, because otherwise things are going to be too expensive. Uh, we still want to make the price of iron to go cheaper, but we can do this when we get the, uh, the atmospheric engine. We'll make double the amount of iron. Uh, but therefore, we need, see, we need 100 coal and 50 tools. That's fine, actually. We'd make a lot of tools over here already. We have seven tooling industries. Uh, so we can actually focus on that as well. So I could start building the coal mines, because the technology will come in in 25 months. Okay. We do have a little bit of time for that. And where is the other construction sector again? Oh yeah, in Saratov, right? Yes. And here are things are very expensive because we don't have enough tools over here. We are working on our first tooling workshop, but that is only giving us a little bit. But we absolutely want to make more tools. Uh, we want to make 120, I think. Uh, yeah, that would solve it already a little bit, and we need a lot more iron. We are making 160, and we need 400. So we are going to build two more uh, of these, and then we will change them to the atmospheric pump, and that would uh, solve the whole problem. That would make construction a lot cheaper, if we can build all of this. Oh yeah, and we are also building our artillery foundry. In Perm, because in Perm we have also logging camps and iron mines that you need for the artillery foundry. And we're also building a tooling workshop over here. But they have locally access. The trade unions want... Poor laws, yeah. Poor them, because that's not gonna work. <laughs> Can I put these guys out and make some sort of a... Government? No, it's just not going to go. Yeah, we have a lot of radicals. Political movement. Yeah, well, what can I do? I can't do a lot. I have a uh, free technology. We accept. Uh, we need to do the uh, artillery because we have upgraded our cannons and then we need a little bit more artillery. Uh, it doesn't change that much. Artillery is still only 2.5 thousand. We need to lower this number to hopefully 85 thousand by making iron cheaper. Which will absolutely happen with the uh, atmospheric engine. Mass communication. We can get a little bit more authority. Can we get a little bit more money with a... No. Oh. Don't like any of that. We have the lath unlocked, so we can do dye workshops for the textile mills, and we can do furniture stuff. And glass. Better glass. So textile mills and manufacturers. Uh, we can do this. We can make more clothes, but it costs dyes. Do we make dyes? We only have a trade route available. I can try this out. For example, in Moscow, the prices are a bit higher. So what if I do this in Moscow? Will I get more uh, dice from the trade routes? The answer is yes. Okay, I think I can do this everywhere. Then hopefully we can get more dyes from our trade routes and make more clothing. And the answer is yes. Oh, 
My trade rules to who? Who do we get dice from? Ah, from Great Britain. It's going up. There we go. Okay, we are making a little bit more clothing. Um, and some of them are making luxury clothes. Uh, furniture, then. For furniture, we just need more tools. Now, in Moscow, that is no problem. Because we are making tools over here. But that is a good idea. But what about Minsk? Yeah, we don't make any tools over here yet. I think you want a tooling workshop in every state. Yeah. And in Galig, do we have a... Let's build a tooling workshop here as well. We do not have iron, otherwise I would have clicked the iron thing as well. Let's just go over all these things here. Uh, Novgorod. We have logging camps with no tooling workshop, so you're going to get the tooling workshop so that you can make this better. If people are going to work there, of course. And then the last one is in Mazovia. And in Mazovia we do have a tuning workshop, so that is no problem over there. Cool. And we do have five glass workshops. We could make more glass. We need it for later for the next production method, but couldn't do anything right now. And I think the other ones are fine. Yes, we could go market squares in our, some of our urban centers and make more services, but we don't really need more services, so... And we have no... Uh, I mean, the infrastructure is locally, right? But it could be a big boost in, uh, in Moscow. Getting 9 coal for 18 services and 9 infrastructure. Yeah, we will absolutely want to do that. So we want to build coal in uh, Moscow. But we can actually do that. Hopefully I won't forget. The only building I can make is steel. But we don't need steel at the moment for anything. Uh, I could go and go over all these farms. Where we have a, a tooling workshop, we should put this on. And on the other hand, we will get less people working. So maybe not. Not right now. We don't need more fish. You can make lead, silver, whaling, cotton and coal mines. Okay, everything is going fine. We still have a bit of bureaucracy. How is my uh, innovation? We are almost at our cap. But maybe we should not spend more at the moment. Because we are already paying a lot for... Well, the universities are actually very cheap. Now we look at it. Yes, we are spending a lot of paper. Can we maybe do something with that? I could temporarily import iron, but there's no big importation targets. Uh, we can set a lot of interest, by the way. Let's do this with Canada and the US. Let's with Brazil, with you guys. Maybe India. Something like this. Maybe we can trade with other, other things. Having high growth leads is annoying. Can we import paper? No. You get a little bit from Sweden. 
Okay, let's get a little bit of iron from Sweden, I guess. Oh, the interests are now active, so let's take a look now. Imports. Oh, there's nothing there. No porcelain import possible. Groceries? No. Oh, I should have... I need to do this and then click here. No, there's nothing we can import that is low. We could export some of our grain, but that is... I don't think that that's a good idea. I want to keep that very cheap. I mean, a hardwood is cheap as well, which is good for a lot of buildings. Can we export a little bit of our fish? No one wants my fish. Meh. Can't really trade. Oh yeah, we still need to work on our fleet to get the uh, organization up. Uh, are, did we build the building in uh, over here? Yes, we did. Are people not going to work here? No. Because there are no tools and this is not giving anything to them. Not going to do anything. No, 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 no. Let's just build a farm there. There we go. I think that's better. And do you want to make fruit, grain, and sugar? Let's find out when the time is there. This stays a problem for a long time, I think. Uh, industrial barriers. Oh no. We cannot do that one. Okay, the industrialists are now in an normal interest group, so that is at least uh, going for us. Is your penalty over from your commander? No. I will wait until the minus 2.7 is over and we will fire the next uh, gently uh, commander. Now let's see if people are going to work here. If I do this, is, is it more worth it? Or is this better? Not sure. They will stop hiring now. Until the 2nd of April. We should just make rain over here. It's a small, tiny state over here, by the way, so we don't really care. What about the artillery? Yeah. The artillery foundry and perm is working splendidly because it's... Uh, ...having cheap inputs. How much do you need? I think I'm gonna make another artillery foundry here because I want to get more artillery in my armies. Because they are giving a lot of stats. And what about horses? Why do you want to make horses? They have the same input. Wait, no. Horses only cost grain. They don't cost anything else. They don't cost any uh, small arms. It makes sense. Horses are everywhere. So, Horses are a very cheap way to get uh, your armies going. But they are very weak. Yeah. So we don't really want cavalry. 
And there we go, we have the atmospheric engine. I completely forgot to make coal mines. So we're going to do that right now. Uh, we can do, do all the pumps here. Oh, let me take a look at Moscow, for example. We can do this, and we can make 200 more iron, which would completely solve all the problems. But we need 100 coal. And how much get do I get from one? 25? Oh, that's not bad, actually. So, let's do these ones first. Coal mines. We can actually do three. Uh, pollution makes people uh, to go death. They die from pollution. Uh, with this we make uh, 120 coal. Then we can do this and we will have a very cheap iron over here. I'm gonna do this first in the stage where we have uh, our construction sectors. Uh, we have it here as well. Yeah, we want to do the same thing here. We want to make our iron mines to go here. Therefore, oh yeah, we cannot make coal over here, so that is a bit of a different story. That means that we want another one here. We want five of these. Hopefully some of these coals can go over to Saratov. I don't know if there is a difference between the distance to a state. It makes sense that Saratov has more access to the coal than Ural. Because it's further away, right? But I don't know if that is something in the game. Oh, oh we need to research. Um, we have all the military stuff here. We could go and get our... No, it's not over here. No. Banking gives minting. We do not have any gold. What is empiricism? Doesn't do anything for us. We need nationalism for uh, one of our things here as well. Banking is already going our way automatically. I think we just keep doing some production. Intensive agriculture can be good. If we want the railways... Then we need steel. And we need mechanical tools. Precision tools for furniture and steel tools for tooling workshop. Oh, yes. We're gonna go this and we are gonna make steel soon. Because then we can make steel tools. Which will cost us 140 steel, and I think two steel mills will be enough. Yeah. So after all of this, we are going to make some steel, I think. Now let's make all that coal over here. Do we actually have... No, we have no uh, consumption for coal. Yeah, a little bit, I guess, to keep them warm in the houses. Are you guys happy again? Almost. There we go, the first coal is in, so what I will do in Moscow now is... ...put the iron mines on the atmospheric pump. This should lower our construction cost as well. It's 83, I think it was 95. It will go down later again, because we are making more coal. Coal mines are coming on now. And everyone wants to work here because it's very profitable in Moscow. There we go, the coal is going down. Is my construction cost going down? Yes, 83,000. 82. 81. There we go. That's what I want to see. It's going very nicely over here. We still need more iron over here, by the way. 
What is my infrastructure? Yeah, we are already over our infrastructure again. And I'm already using the uh, road maintenance, so... I cannot build more stuff here. <laughs> oh well. Hey, why are we making money? Oh, investment pool transfer. Cool. Uh, yeah, and then we are going to make uh, the, stool stu uh, the steel stuff, but maybe we should do something else because the technology stays a bit away. So I think we are going to fix our uh, boat stuff here. So we need to make eight more light ships. They cost one mana war. Now, oh wait, let's do it here. Uh, Plus, we can build it in these states. For example, in Gerson. It doesn't matter where you build it anymore. This navy can use these naval bases. It makes more sense to me if we do it here. But we don't have that much access, so maybe we should not. I think I'm gonna go and build 7 in Gerson. There we go. We're gonna build seven frigates. Then we are not there yet. And those frigates need mana wars. Uh, we do have enough production, so I think we are fine. Yeah, we don't have iron, so they are not very profitable. And the local balance will still be fine, because we, the consumption will go to 25 of 35, so we are actually fine. Can I make iron over here? No. That's the whole problem. But I think this will be completely fine. So let's do all of this and uh, complete our uh, stuff over there. Uh, maybe we should also go to war with the next, next state over here, with Bukhara. I'm gonna make Bukhara into a protectorate. Hopefully no one is going to go against us. They have 20 troops, they are very weak again, so we are just going to put like 25 of our troops over there. They are a little bit stronger because we have better artillery. I guess I'm gonna put these guys in the front here. Click. And I will give them a little bit more money. You can see that they are still... Oh no, never mind. But these are the units that are the naval bases. One naval base is one, one boat. Yeah, and this number will stay low. It's just that the Russian market might go a little bit higher. Well, it's actually not. I think we are fine. Now, how much do you make then? Do you make a lot of money? Yeah, they do actually. Interesting. Oh, City of Plenty. We can get more loyalists or... The Upper Strata gets very loyalists in Moscow. I think that is no problem over there. And we get even more loyal people. Let's go with that one. Moscow should not have any problems with uh, standard of living things. Well, now I say that, it's actually a bit meh. And we are done constructing the naval bases already. Are they going there instantly? Almost. We need a little bit more. I can also put a, two, a couple of Man of Wars to the other navy. Let's do that actually. Like this. That will solve the whole uh, organization problem. Yeah, we know that that is market access. We know this will go away soon. Am I going to make the other iron mines? Also the atmospheric engine. Uh, at least the ones in Saratov.
Can you guys get the coal? Not really. Yeah, and that is the whole market access problem. But it does make construction a lot cheaper, so we should still do it. Uh, you need more tools? Locally? Yeah, let's get at least one more local. Tooling workshop? More iron mines. That's going to be it for here. We should build coal somewhere, but coal also have other things. Where can we use coal for as well? A lot of things. Also for the glass, right? No. Well, we need more coal. So let's just look over here and then just look at coal. See, we have a lot of infrastructure and jobs available. In Tver, we can build a lot of coal. Don't get a bonus there. We do have the market X price impact, so that is okay, I guess. Well, you need tools for it, so I will give you a tooling workshop and I'm gonna build four coal mines. Just for my general market. Oh, Austria Hungary has formed. Or they are a different color, at least. And I completely forgot about the war, actually. So let's take a look how this is going. That's a loss. It's another loss, because I am not fighting, but my vassals are fighting. Can you just tell them to stop? I don't think I can tell them to stop. I mean, when I'm in charge, we are winning. And again. Then we lose because of my vessel attacks. We win because my vessel has more troops, I guess. Nope, we are losing anyway. That is pretty... Uh Pretty annoying. Can I tell more armies to go over here? I can. I guess we have more chance to be the leader of, a, of an attack when more troops are over here. I mean, they have no chance to, to cross because they will never win. Against the defending army. Go. Uh, every time we keep losing, thanks to our vassals, we won't we won't continue the front. Uh, they do get a low war support for some reason, but uh, it's pretty frustrating that when my vassal takes control, we are losing the battle. And then we lose our progress. And I don't know what I can do against that. This will go nowhere. This is going nowhere and I cannot change... I cannot tell them to stop, I think. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. Oh, we are lucky. We took the state, guys. We are lucky. So we can uh, demobilize our armies. There's nothing to fight anymore. 
and we will make you my protectorate. There we go. Bukara is now also my protectorate. Uh, if I want to uh, annex Kiva later on, we need to reduce the autonomy. Maybe we should. Let's save the game, just in case things go wrong. Russia. Reduce the autonomy and you'll become a dominion instead of a protectorate. Oh, and there we go. I can demand this now and they will accept. Because they are a loyal subject. There we go. They are now a... Um, they are now a puppet? A dominion. So they have less autonomy, they are now also green. And later on we can annex them just like these ones. We can do the same with you when the truce is over. And let's go after Kokant, I guess. Well, let's wait until our infamy is down. What is my infamy? Or let's just wait until it's zero. And we need to keep building stuff. In 14 months we get our mechanical tools. Ooh, sulfide pulping. Uh, yeah, so we really want to get the steel now. Or steel tools. So we really want steel in Moscow. And in Saratov. I mean, we have no market access here, but I, I still think we, uh, we should build a steel mill there. We need a 140 steel. Oh, I think we need two steel mills in Moscow. And we also need the steel for the motor industries to make transportation. So I think we even need three steel mills. Now we do have some urban centers and we could now use our, um, our coal over here that we make to get more services and more infrastructure. So we are absolutely going to do this. Get rid of transportation. Transportation is locally now. Locally now. Uh, we don't need more services here. So that helped a little bit with our infrastructure problem. Do we need to do the same in Saratov? No. I don't think we have any other problems with uh, infrastructure. Still having some tax waste, so we should keep building our bureaucracy up. For example, in Kazan. Because we are making paper here. If I build a government administration, do we have tax waste as well? Yeah, perfect. Four of them. That is. That needs how much? Forty paper. So that will solve it a little bit. Oh, we have a new thing here. Iron is still expensive. And we know the other option. Yeah. People like to work here. That is the good news. And there we go, guys. We are going to build our first steel mills to get steel tools. And then later on, after this technology, I, we will have to go over railways, I think. We can fix our whole infrastructure problems with that. A lot of people are angry.
Spain sides with Austria-Hungary. What is the war here? German leadership. We could... Uh, we could say, uh, well, Austria, I would help you, but um, I want a state. We could do something like that now. We can now ask your support. I think I will actually, well, let's wait until it's a bit later. Down to conquer Tyrol and South Tyrol. And the Italian unification is happening. France is siding with Austria-Hungary. Maybe I should side now with Austria-Hungary. Do they want me to give a state? No. Oh wait, I need to go to the... No, no. Oh, there we go. Uh, we could say, Austria, we will join you, but you need to give me a state. We don't want that at the moment. Uh, we could say, we will help you, but you need to give me a uh, trade agreement or you need to bankroll me. Wait, I can make them bankrolling me? Whoa. Um, but I can also tell you I will join, but I want war reparations from, uh, from Prussia. I can also do this and ask for East Prussia. It does give a lot of infamy though. Maybe we should do this. It's going to be a big war though, but let's give that a try. At least war reparations. There we go, we are at war. Well, we will be at war. And that's going to be it. I cannot ask for anything else. Oh well. When you win, we get war reparations. And we are going to mobilize our troops. I can't. Why not? They are still demobilizing. Oh yeah, there is a modifier now. They are going to be mobilized. Can I make a box? No, you cannot select them on the map, unfortunately. And all these troops, who are the latest technology, are going to the front. Okay, we do have multiple fronts. Let us first go to the... This front here. go. See how that goes. Okay, they are quickly going to the front. So the enemies are not mobilizing their troops at all at the moment. So it could be that they are actually uh, not going to accept and then the whole mobilization was for nothing. That is possible. They should accept but I will crush them because they have no troops over there. Okay, they, they are finally mobilizing. As you can see. I could go fully defensive. Let's see, they are going to take the fight, apparently. Oh my god, they have 30 offense and 39 defense. Their troops are a bit better. Uh oh, let's go and defend. Oh, we have also reckless advance, what is that? No.
Let's first go full on the defense here. See if they're going to attack me. Yes, they are. Where's the first battle? Where is it? It's not me. Okay, apparently... Apparently the French are taking a battle. Oh, they're boats. My boats can do something as well. I have my Baltic fleet over there who is... Very good, actually. You should go and... Interception, I guess. Then I should put you in the sea tile. How do I do that? Deploy to that seed node. There you go. And now you should... Capture that fleet. Or not. Are we, at, are we fighting? I guess we are. Not sure. It looks weird. What's happening over there? I have no idea. Um, there are battles, but that is mostly France attacking. I'm of course not attacking at the moment. Uh, we do not have our bonus from the armed forces and we cannot get it, I think. Can we do a law change? Yeah, when I do this, but then I will uh, get the gentle assembly very angry. But they can take it, so maybe we should do this. It will make the armed forces very happy. Which gives us a bonus to our attack. They have good defenses, though. My attack is not that great. We don't need to. I need. I need more attack bonuses, but I cannot do that actually. Oh, there's nothing I can do. The only thing I can do in the next episode is look at commanders that have a good attack stat and then go for the attack. That's the thing I will do over here, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we will get our steel. Bye bye.